Hi. Hello. How old are you? I am 20 years old. How long do you sleep a day? I go to bed at 11 and I get up at 6 in the morning. How long do you sleep a day? I sleep for 6 hours a day. I use my energy at work during the daytime. I renew myself during the night time. How much time do you have for presentation? I have 15 minutes to make a presentation. I am still afraid to talk in front of the people. I am still worried about making mistakes with English. How much money do you spend by the morning? I only spend 10,000 in the morning. I don't eat any food for the breakfast. I just drink some tea. Where do you usually go shopping? I usually go to nearby supermarkets to buy both daily necessities and clothes. I don't like spending too much time shopping. Occasionally, I would also shop online, and I think it's pretty convenient. Do you enjoy shopping in big shopping malls? Yes, I do. There's usually a variety of products and brand there. And the service is good. If you don't like something you have bought, you can ask for a refund, but usually you can't do that at a smaller shop. How often do you come to class a day? I come to class twice a day. How long do you practice English in the class? I practice English for 30 minutes in the class. How long do you learn English from the class? I learn English for one hour in the class. How long do you work per day? I work from a.m. to p.m. I work for eight hours per day. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. What is your favorite subject? English is my favorite subject. It is an important language. I like to learn new English words. Grammar is a little tricky. Spoken English needs daily practice. I try to speak in English. English is a global language. It is important if we visit foreign country. How is your English? At the beginning, I can't speak English well. I don't understand when people speak English. Three months later, my English gets better and better because I learn and practice more than the other students. Now, I can speak with correct grammar and pronunciation. How is your job? I feel happy about my job. The pay is good. 
Co-workers are nice. Manager teals workers equally. He is never biased. He is always manages fairly. He isn't proud, he is friendly. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is Thai food. Thai foods are spicy. Thai foods are delicious. I always make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What is your favorite music? My favorite music rock. I like rock music. When I am tired, I listen to rock music. When I am sad about someone, I listen to rock music. How many subjects do you study from university? I have many subjects to study from university. But I specialized in English. English is my favorite subject. When I take tests, I always have full marks in English subject. How many minutes do you have for presentation? I have 15 minutes for presentation. I am presenter for today. I have prepared my best for presentation. Today I will talk about my family. In front of the class. Please listen to me carefully when I speak. How many classes do you attend per day? I don't have many classes. I only have one class. The name of the class is ILB. How is the weather is today? The weather is very hot today. I don't like hot weather. In summer, the weather is terribly hot in Mandalay. If the weather is hot, I don't want to go anywhere and I don't want to do anything. I just want to stay at home. How often do you speak English in front of the class? I usually speak in front of the class to have experience. How often do you discuss the lessons with your classmates? I discuss the lessons with my classmates frequently. How often do you think about your job? I think about my job very often. How often do you use computer in the office? I always use computer because I have to do my job with computer. How often do you come to class a day? I come to class twice a day. One time is in the morning. Another time is in the evening. In the morning, I come to class to study basic English. In the evening, I come to class to study intermediate English. How often do you read for knowledge? I sometimes read for knowledge. I like reading, but I cannot always read. Because I have no time for reading. 
And you, do you have time for reading? How often do you eat per day? I just eat two times per day. I eat lunch before noon time in the morning. How often do you do homework per day? I do homework three times per day. One time is in the morning before I go to work. The second time is in the evening after the class. The last time is at night before I go to bed. How often do you practice a day to improve your English? I practice times without number. I practice a lot because I want to get ahead of the others. I don't want to fall behind the others. I don't want to be a loser. I want to be a winner among the people. That's why I try my best to improve day after day. Do you know how often I cook for family? Yes, I know how often you cook for family. You cook for family at least three times a day. Am I right? How do you practice in front of the class? I practice excitedly because I have no experience. How do you drive the motorbike every day? I drive slowly and carefully because I don't want to have accident. How do you feel when you make presentation? I feel shy when when I make presentation because of the boys. How do you have to stay in the class? I have to stay actively in the class. I have to practice actively with energy in the class. How do you do to improve your English? To improve my English, I do as my teacher says. How do you do when you feel tired? I lie down in the bed and listen to music. How often do you drink with your friends? I never drink with my friends because I don't like drinking. How long do you need to read this lesson? I need to read this lesson until I understand very detailed. How long do you hope to date your girlfriend? I hope to date my girlfriend all day long. How long do you want to attend this class? I want to attend this class until I can speak English. How long do you want to attend this class? I think I have to attend this class at least for one year. How long do you want to attend this class? After one year, I will be able to speak English fluently. I will be able to study by myself without a teacher. During one year, I need my teacher. I need his teaching. Now, I have no plan to quit the class. I still need this class.
How long do you in the class? Every day? I stay in the class for one hour every day. During one hour I listen to my teacher's English. I learn and practice with my classmates. I am so delighted to learn with my classmates because they are hungry for success. They are ambitious. Do you know how long I memorize the lessons? Yes, I know how long you memorize the lessons. You memorize for one hour. But I don't think one hour is enough. How many people do you see here? I see many people here. Some are Buddhist monks. Some are company workers. How many sisters do you have? I have two sisters. One is older than me. The other is younger than me. Both of them are so pretty. How many years do you need to learn to speak English? I have to learn at least one year to be able to speak English. I have to learn at least one year to know how to speak English. I need many years to know how to teach English. How many lessons do you learn a day? I only one lesson a day. I cannot learn many lessons like you. I am not intelligent. I am not as smart as you. For me, one lesson is enough to learn for a day. How many friends do you have in this class? I have a lot of friends in this class. I have many friends because I am friendly. People like me because I am sociable. For my living, I do three jobs every day. In the morning, I work as a salesman. In the afternoon, I work as a delivery man. At night, I was as a taxi driver. Do you know how many holiday I have? Yes, I know how many holiday you have. You have to holidays. How much do you try to have English ability? I try as much as can to have English ability. How much do you learn from the class? I don't learn a lot. I learn a few lessons for the class. I learn a little by little because slow learning is better for my English. How much do you understand the lessons? I understand a little bit. I don't understand much. Today lesson is confusing. Lesson is not simple. 
How much do you want from me? I want $500,000 from you. Help me, please. I have no money to pay the class fee for this month. I have no money to pay the rent for this month. I have no money to pay bus fare if I go to work. How much food do you eat for a meal? I eat a little bit of food. I am not a big eater. I don't eat a lot because I am losing weight. How much energy do you use in the class? I use a lot of energy in the class. Especially when I repeat the lesson. I want to have a good understanding and accent. That's why I have to use mental energy and physical energy when I practice the lessons. How much confidence do you have? I, speaking English? I have plenty of confidence to speak English. I have no fear. I have no worry. I have no hesitation to speak English because I do homework every day. How much grammar do you study from this class? I study a lot of grammar. I need grammar to speak English correctly. I need grammar to write systematically. But I don't memorize grammar. I just study grammar with phrases to remember for long. How much fun do you have in the class? I have a lot of fun. We have many girls in the class. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. They are friendly. They treated the boys nicely. We also have interesting lessons. Do you know how much I love my girlfriend? I know how much you love your girlfriend. You said that you love her more than yourself and you can't live without her. How long is your job? My job is for eight hours a day. I am a supervisor in the company. My job is to lead my workers and to show them how to do their job. My job is not easy because there are many problems. How far is class from your monastery? The class is only a few minutes walk away from my monastery. It's okay for me to go to class by walking every day. I don't need motorbike and buses to go to class. How far is Mandalay Hill from here? It's very far from here. I think it is about six miles 
away from here. If you want to go there, you should take a taxi or a bus. Introduce. What is your name? My name is Mary. My nickname is June. Everyone call me Mary. I don't like this name. They call me even if I don't like it. But I am not angry. What do you do in the morning? First, I get up early. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I take a bath. Then, I eat breakfast. What are you doing after eating breakfast? After breakfast, I prepare myself to go to work. What is your job? I am a teacher. I teach English and science in this class. What is your education level? I am a final year student at university. Favorite What is your favorite food? My favorite food is Thai food. Thai foods are spicy. Thai food are delicious. I always make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like spicy food. What is your favorite song? My favorite song is pop. I like pop music. When I am tired, I listen to pop music. When I am sad about someone, I listen to pop music. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Ram Charit Monas. It is the book that I like most. It is a very interesting book. What is your favorite vegetables? Potatoes is my favorite vegetables. Potatoes is a so at vegetables. Potatoes is one of the world's main food crops. Potatoes can be eaten boiled, fried or baked. Potatoes contain a lot of stretch. The potatoes have buds that can grow into new potato plants. What is your favorite thing in the world? My favorite thing is to pay with cats, my friends and family. Time What time do you get up in the morning? I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. What time do you eat breakfast in the morning? I eat breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. What time do you go to work every morning? I go to work at 8 every morning. What time do you get home from job? 
I get home from job at about five o'clock in the evening. What time do you come to class every day? I come to class at fifteen minutes to seven in the evening. What time do you do homework? I do homework three times a day. I do homework after I eat breakfast in the morning. I do homework after I take a rest in the afternoon. I do homework after I go to come cafe with my friends. What time is now? It's seven o'clock in the morning. The classes starts at seven and finished at eight. I learn English for one hour in this class. I learn and practice deeply during one hour in the class. What time is your breakfast? My breakfast is at about seven. After breakfast, I go to work. What time do you practice English? I practice English before the class starts. I practice English before I learn some lessons in class. I think practice is good for English skills. I can't speak English well without practice. That's why I always practice in class. What time do you read for knowledge? I read for knowledge when I have free time. I always read for knowledge when I have no job. Nowadays, knowledge is important for people. How do you come to class? When I have motorbike, I come to class by motorbike. How do you study English? I study English deeply. How do you live in Mandalay? I live together with my friends in a hotel. We are not from the same village. We come from different places. We become friends when we work together in the same company. How do you homework? When I do homework, I read the lessons again and again. If I find new vocabulary and grammar, I study them with phrases. I read and study enough. I try to use in the conversation. How do you speak English? I usually speak English quickly. But if I speak with the basic students, I speak slowly and clearly. How do you treat the people around you? I always treat the people nicely. I never treat the people badly. I love the people. Let me know how you spend your free time. Yes, sure. I will tell you about how I spend my free time. At work, I spend my free time sitting in the cafe.
In the class, I spend my free time practicing with my friends. At home, I spend my free time reading and using the Facebook. How about you? I'm also fine. Thank you. You are welcome. How is your dad? My dad is good. He is strong enough. How is your mom? My mom is not fine today. She is very sick because of bad weather. That's why she goes to clinic to see the doctor. Now she is improving because she takes medicines every day. How is the class today? The lessons is excellent today. I like the information and idea from the lesson. It's not boring to learn. It's interesting to learn. I feel so good when I learn the lesson. Family. Tell me something about your family members. Well, I live in a nuclear family. I just like many other people of my age. My father is civil servant in the government. My mother is a doctor in a hospital. We are all busy with our own business. So it is not easy for us to get together. Should young people live with the old? Just as the saying goes, the old are the treasure of the family. Do your parents call their parents often? What do they usually talk about? Well, these years my grandparents are getting older. Because they don't live with us. My parents would sometimes go to visit them. Or sometimes call them to care about their lives and their health. I think this is a virtue for many Chinese to care for their parents when they get old. Do you think it's good to raise a child in the city? It's a hard question. I think it's okay. Actually, nowadays a lot of children are raised in the city. Although they can't get close to the nature, they can receive good education and can enjoy the advanced facilities. Such as parks, museums and libraries in the city. Festivals and holidays. What do you usually do when you have holidays? I do many things. Sometimes I stay at home to read and surf the internet, relax myself. What did you do in your last holiday? I went to Hainan last holiday. I stayed there for about 10 days. Although the weather was still cold here. It's very warm in Hainan. I walked on the beach and appreciate the beautiful scenery.
Which public holidays do you like the most? What's your favorite festivals? I like the holidays of Spring Festival because we can have a very long holiday. It's also a time to be together with family and relax. I'm always looking forward to it. Do you prefer doing things indoors or outdoors on a holiday? Do you like spending your holidays alone or going out with your friends? I prefer going outdoors because I usually stay indoors to work or study. It's really important for me to breathe the fresh air and exercise my body during holidays. Sometimes I would go on short trips to relax myself. Do you like national holiday or the spring festival? I like the spring festival holiday because it's the time for family reunions. I could also eat a lot of delicious food and set off fireworks. I guess it's just a special season for Chinese people. No other festivals or holidays can replace it. Do you want to have more holiday? Of course, I would like to go to school three days a week and have for days off if that's possible. However, if I have too much free time, I will feed bored. Sport. What sport do you like? Why? I like many different kind of sports: badminton, tennis, and volleyball. I think it's a good way for me to stretch my muscles and make friends. I would sometimes go to the university campus near my home to do these spots. Did you like to play sport when you were a child? Yes, I did. When I was a child, I was more active. I would always play some sports with my friends on our school playground, even after school. I think it's good for children to do some exercise. What kind of activity do you often do? I usually go hiking and play badminton in the park during my spare time. I think hiking is good for my health and can help me get close to the nature. Playing badminton is good for me to stretch my arms after a whole day's work or study. Where do you buy your clothes? I usually buy my clothes at a shopping mall and near my home. I care about the quality of clothes, and I want to wear comfortable ones. So I would usually buy good brand casual clothes. Since I don't want to spend a lot of time shopping, I would go shopping once every two months. Why some don't like shopping? Shopping is usually time consuming. And shopping center is always full of people, so some people might feel dizzy 
and uncomfortable when they go to such places. Sometimes too many choices can also make people feel hard to make decisions. What do you feel about the trend of the fashion? I think it's nice because people would always try to follow the trend. And they would make a lot of changes accordingly. Fashion can add more spice and sparkles to our life. Do you think it's difficult to choose what gift to people? Definitely, it's really hard to know what others want or need. Sometimes we might buy what we like for others. I sometimes feel it's a good way to give money or gift card. Instead, if we don't really have the idea of what to buy. When was the last time you received a gift? Last month, my sister bought a very beautiful sweater for me. It was a good gift. Actually, I don't receive gifts often. But I'm always happy to have them. Do you prefer to receiving a gift or giving a gift? I think both. When I receive gifts, I can feel happy and loved. But when my friends or family members love the gift I give them. Do you like giving gifts to your friends? Yes, I believe sending gifts to others not only shows your love or respect to them, but also helps to bring closer the relationship between each other. So I always try to send my friends something. Traveling. Do you like traveling? Yes, I do. Traveling can help me learn local cultures and customs. I can also taste a variety of local food. I think it's great to travel with friends and families. It might be even better if I could travel overseas. Where do you like to go when you go traveling? I don't like very crowded places. I don't like to visit the tourist attractions. But I would like to visit some peoples. Home in some unique restaurants. I can learn a lot from just walking in a city. Have you ever traveled for a long time? Yes, I went to Yunnan Province last summer and stayed there for almost two weeks. It's really my longest trip so far. Do you like long trip? If I have enough time, I think long trips are nice because I can always learn new things by staying there for a longer time. Also, if I have plenty of time. To explore a place, I won't feel too tired. How do you feel when you travel? 
I can always feel relaxed and excited. Because I can see different things and learn the local cultures and customs. Do you prefer to travel alone or with other people? I prefer to travel within other people. Because I can talk with them and share our experiences. Also, I'm not good at directions. If I travel within others, I don't need to worry about getting lost. Which country would you like to travel to in the future? If I have enough money, I'd like to travel to Egypt. It's a mysterious country to me, and I always want to walk in the pyramids. I think I might even find the buried treasure if I'm lucky enough. Housework Do people do a lot of housework in your country? Yes, many people like to do the housework themselves. Because they believe it is their own private matters. But it seems more people like to pay for somebody else to do the housework for them. Because I their mind, their time is more valuable than doing housework. Did you do a lot of housework when you were a child? Well, I have to say sorry to my parents. Cause you know, when I was a child, my parents wanted me to spend all my time in studying or playing. And so they did not ask me to do any housework. Is it important for a child to do housework? Maybe, I am not so sure. It is possible for them to do housework to understand the value of life. What different kinds of housework do men and women do? Well, Many a time men will do some housework like changing the bulbs, fixing the locks, or plumbing. But now more men are sharing other housework with women. Should children help their parents to do some housework? Yes, I think it is a good idea to ask children to help their parents to do some housework. In this way, the children can not only learn some practical skills, but also have a sense of their parents' hard work. Home and family. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a flat. It's a 15-story building and my home is on the fifth floor. We have three bedrooms and a big living room. I like my home because it's spacious. Do you like in a big city or a small town? It's a dilemma. I think it would be nice to live in the countryside. But work and enjoy the modern facilities in the city. Right now, I live in big cities. 
I have access to all kind of modern facilities, and it's also easier for me to find a suitable job. However, the air pollution and traffic problems sometimes drive me crazy. I think I'll move to the countryside after I get retired. Which room is your favorite in your home? I love our living room because it's spacious. I could watch TV and play computer games there. I also like the view from the big window. With from there, I could see the river in my city and the beautiful trees along the river. I think I spend most of the time at home in the living room besides sleeping time. Do you like changing your flat? If I have the option, it'll be nice to move to a bigger flat. I will never complain about having a big flat. If I do, I'll be able to hold parties with my friends and even play badminton in our living room. Now we would usually feel crowded if we have a guest. With a big flat, this won't be a problem anymore. Is it good for family members to eat together? Absolutely. For a lot of Chinese families, dinner time is the quality time that the family can spend together. Because during that time, we'll concentrate on our meal and set our tasks or homework aside. If family members do not eat together, I think it'll be hard for the people who live under the same roof to know each other well. Do you know your neighbors? Yes, I recently moved to this home. But one day, when I was walking down the stairs, from then on, I would always talk to her when I see her in the stairway. I feel it's good to know my neighbors because when I have some problems or troubles, I could ask them for help. Do you prefer young or old neighbors? I prefer young neighbors, especially people of my age. Because we wait more likely to have things in common. It's easier for us to communicate and we could even do some outdoor activities together. However, if we have old neighbors, I'll be able to learn life experience from them. What do you think can be added to your flat? If it's possible, I'd love to have a guest room added. Sometimes my friends visit but my home is too tiny so they have to sleep in the living room. I always feel embarrassed for that with an extra guest room. Everything will be solved. If we don't have guests, I can use it as my private study room. Which will help me study more effectively. Handcraft When do you need to make something yourself? I usually don't need 
to make things myself. Because we can always find everything at supermarkets. But occasionally I make scarves or sweaters by myself. It's like my pastime hobby. I would always feel a sense of success when I complete a project. Is it good for children to do more hands-on activities? I think so, when children make things themselves. They are more likely to remember things, and their interest will be aroused during the process. It's also a good way to teach them to be independent. When children use their hands, they'll need to think and their brains will also be developed better. Should children learn a certain skill in their early age? It depends if they're interested in something, such as drawing and playing instruments. It's helpful for them to start early. They'll have more career choices when they grow older if they have some special skills. However, if the children don't want to learn a skill that the parents think is important, it'll be wise for parents to respect the children's choice. Did you ever learn to make something by hand? Yes, when I was a child, even in the kindergarten. My teacher had taught me how to make a paper plane and paper bird. It was quite encouraging to see things made by my own hand. Do you think it is popular in China? These days, Handmade things are becoming popular. Cause you know, some handmade things are so unique and exquisite that no, such machines can produce. On some other occasion, when people are bored with those things massively produced by machines, They may choose to make one with their own hands. If you have a chance, what do you want to learn? If I have the chance, I would like to learn to make a kite with my own hands. You know, when I was a child, I liked to fly kites very much, and my father had bought me a lot of kites. But I dream of having one kite made all by myself. That could fly higher than any of my classmates and friends. But I never had a chance to do so because my father was too busy with his business and could not provide me with the necessary material and skills. Did you do handcrafts at school? I actually had a handcraft class. When I was in elementary school, and the teacher would teach us to do all kinds of handcrafts, I would always feel proud of myself when I bought my own artworks home. 
Do you think Chinese people like making handcrafts? I think so. In the past, a lot of people would make their own sweaters. Happiness. What can make you feel happy? A lot of things. For example, if I hear some good news about myself or people around me, I'll be feel happy. Last month, one of my cousins gave birth to a baby girl. I felt happy for her and for the newborn baby. The other day, I bought a nice bag on sale, which also made me feel happy. I guess life is full of happiness, and we just need to have the eyes to discover it. How to improve your happiness level? We need to treat ourselves well. When it's time to rest, we should make excuses to work or study too much. We should exercise more and eat healthy in order to keep our body fit. If we're healthy physically, we'll also feel happy mentally. In addition, having good social connection can also make us feel happier. So we should treat the people around us nicely. Will unhappy things influence your mood? Definitely. Sometimes, just a tiny, unhappy things can ruin a whole day. For example, if I have some conflicts with another driver while I'm driving or riding a bike, this incident will haunt me the whole time on my way to work or school. If I learn that I didn't do well on an exam, which I have studied for a whole month, I'll probably be upset for a few days. Is happiness important? Of course, that's why we use the words related to happiness to show our good wishes. Such as Happy New Year's, have a good time, and enjoy your meal. If we're happy, we're more likely to enjoy a longer life. Also, happy students can study well, and happy workers can work more productively. So, we have to remind ourselves and people around us to be happy all the time. Can money make people happier? Sometimes it does, but money doesn't work when it comes as to long-term happiness. Money can buy us material satisfaction, but spiritually, it is pale and weak, although we need money to buy us daily necessities. But we shouldn't be observed with making more and more money. Especially when we have to sacrifice our family or health. A lot of rich people will eventually regret if when they get money and lose everything else in the end. Are all kind of unhappiness bad? Not necessarily. On some occasions, when we are stuck in unhappiness, 
We may learn something that is helpful to us. So that we will not suffer from the unhappiness in this aspect again. In this sense, the unhappiness is just a kind of beneficial experience. How old are you? I am 20 years old. My brother is 26 years old. He is 6 years older than me. He is single. He isn't married. Now he lived in Thailand for business. My sister is 30 years old. She is 10 years older than me. I love my sister because she always treats me like a mother. She always guides me like a teacher. How old are your parents? My dad is 45 years old. My mom is 40 years old. They love each other. They start their marriage with zero. I mean they have nothing when they marry. But they work hard. How long is the class? The class is one hour long. I learn in the class from 8 to 9 in the morning. I do the class activities during one hour. The class activities are learning, reading, and practicing. How many family members are there in your family with you? There are six family members, including me. They are my father, my mother, two elder brothers, one younger sister, and me. How many students are there in the class with you? There are about 50 students with me in the class. We all study the same level. We learn and practice together happily every day. We always have a good time in the class. How many teachers are there in the class? There is only one teacher in this class. Her name is Mary. She is good teaching. She explains the lessons very detailed and clearly. Every student likes her teaching method. How many computers are there in the class? There is only one computer. It's not mine. It's teacher's computer. How many books are there on the bookshelf to read for knowledge? There are many books on the bookshelf to read for knowledge. You can borrow these books every time. After you read, you have to return those books because books are expensive. How much money is there in your wallet? There's only a little money in my wallet. How much beer is there in the fridge? There is a lot of beer in the fridge. I invited my friends to my birthday party. They are going to arrive soon. If there is no enough beer, we have to buy more. 
How much tea is there in the kettle? There is only a half of tea in the kettle. Don't worry, I am making more tea for the guests. When they arrive, I will treat them to some tea and tea leaf salad. How much jam is there to eat with the bread? There is a pot of jam in the cupboard. Jam is ready and bread is ready. Coffee is over there to drink. Now you can have breakfast. How much is a cup of tea? A cup of tea is $4,000. But there isn't the same price for a cup of tea. Some take $5,000. Some take $4,000 a cup of tea. How much is your handset? My handset is $250,000. It's good to use internet. It's good to play games. The camera is really excellent. If I take photos, the pictures are really vivid. You should buy this handset. How much is this book? This book is $2,000. What the book is about? It's about education. Will you buy? If the book is about education, I will surely buy. Here is $20,000 for the book. How much is class fee for three months? Class fee is $500,000 for three months. Do you think it's too much for you? Who do you admire in this class? I admire all of the people in this class. Who do you need to practice English? I need my classmates to practice English. Who do you talk about in front of the class? I talk about my teacher and parents in front of the class. Who do you respect in the company? I respect the manager for his age and experience. Who do you love most in your family? I equally love everyone in my family. Who do you come to class with? I come to class with my friends. Sometimes I come alone. Who do you live with in Mandalay? I live with my family members in Mandalay. Who do you give your lesson book to? I give my lesson book to loan of my friends. Who do you want to choose to speak English? I want to choose Nero. I like his English. His pronunciation is beautiful. His grammar is correct. He has many ideas. He never lose idea when he speaks English. Thank for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.